Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah! Yes! Okay, well, what's going on everyone? It's Sniffboard here. And you guys actually hit the like goal for the last video, which means I'm going to turn this into like a mini series or something, which I'm very thankful for. Thank you guys so much for hitting that goal. Um, so yeah, here we are back in our zoo, aptly named This Is A Zoo, and yeah, uh, here's our warthog enclosure. So I want to add some education stuff to this, and also try and make some more money because we haven't got too much at the moment. And then after that, we are going to probably start working on our next enclosure, which I'm really looking forward to you, to like making and presenting to you. Uh, it's quite a popular animal at the moment, it's kind of gone viral, and yeah, I can't wait to make it. So, I'm just really going to put down some education stuff, and we'll go right into it. Right, so, we have got our education boards down, I've also added some speakers, both of them just covering the warthog, because obviously that's all we have at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, we, so now people can just better learn about the warthogs puts up the education rating a little bit, or at least it should do. And I also noticed something I did in the last video. I was going to get two males and two females, um, but I ended up getting uh, three males and one female, because I was a bit blind, you see. And also, I looked in the Zoopedia, and there should only really be one male per group, so... I'll probably end up making a second enclosure for them eventually, or maybe like uh, trading them off or something. I don't know yet, but yeah, I'll probably see what I can do with them now. Uh, if I just send them to the trade center. Uh, right, that one's the alpha one. I want to keep my albino one so the alpha one can in fact go to the trade center. Okay, and with that we've got. Uh, Bemba and Adasola in the trade center. I'm going to see. Okay, I can quick trade them. So, that is what I will do. And there we go, that's a little bit of money. Um, so, I guess I should just see if I can get more warthogs. So, depending on which ones there are. I'm gonna go with this one, and if there's another female, I'll get, I'll buy that one as well. I'm gonna check the stats on some of the other ones. I want one with decent enough stats, so yeah, that one's pretty good. So that, yeah, it's two females that time, so I will send them back to the zoo, and we'll just let them arrive. So yeah. Oh, they pulling up. And here is Warthog number one, which is Isa, and here's Warthog number two, which is Omasuke. So yeah, we're pretty much done with the Warthogs now. Well, obviously you've got to get enrichment stuff for vet research, but yeah, we'll, we'll be able to get that done. I also forgot probably the most important thing for an animal, which is the food and water stuff. Which is really, really silly of me. I mean, they could probably get the water from the pond we have here, but that could get dirty quite quickly, so I'm going to need to put down a water like cleaning thing. But first I'm probably going to get some conservation points. There we go. Anyways, uh, utilities and water treatment, as long as this can reach a little bit of uh, uh, the water in our enclosure, we should be all good. I also want to check, yeah, so, at the moment that's our best option of a place to put it, however, it will not reach, so I'm going to have to think of something different to do here. Okay, so with that, we have our water. Um, clean up, basically put in properly. And we also finished our first stage of vet research, so we should be able to get some enrichment for them now. 
was, I saw something a second ago, I'm just trying to see what it was. Oh, lovely! Alright, like, first minute or so of having them, we've already got pregnant warthog, so start a bit of a warthog family here. That's awesome. Alright, so, I am going to try and get in some enrichment. So, all we have at the moment is a barrel feeder, but hopefully that should do. I just want to check. Alright, that's only 31% on enrichment, so... Hold on. Yeah, we've only got the barrel, so I will add another one. Alright, so that's all good. So, in my last video I asked you guys to comment which animal we wanted to see me make an enclosure for next. Um, while I didn't get any comments, one of, well, a few of my friends did recommend a couple animals. The first one was the African penguin, and after researching it, I was going to get it, but um, they're a bit expensive, and also I'm pretty sure they need quite a lot of space. But then we came up with something probably a better idea for starting a zoo and a more popular animal at the moment especially around like the internet through memes and stuff and that's these guys the capybaras because you know they pull up we just finished our next tier of vet research so we might be able to get some more like i don't know toy enrichment or something like that yeah we got, we got a herb scent marker so gonna dot two of these around and hopefully yeah they're happy they can get other species but as I mentioned last video I'm probably not going to do that because I mean I've already got everything made and I'm not sure how much space I'm going to need also half of the animals in here are modded so I won't be able to get them anyway but yeah I've done some research on the capybaras and so for two adults you only need like 333 square meters and 82 square meters of water um the group size is 4 to 20 oh i didn't i didn't even read that bit anyways yeah i'll probably need four then so that's only that's still only 400 meters of land 100 meters of water um guess can enter habitats which is quite good because I did want to have a, I did kind of want to have a walkthrough habitat as like one of the first things. I thought that'd be quite cool. So, yeah, we will be making this. I just got to think of a good design, and I'll be back to you when I've thought something. All right, so we got another level of um, vet research done on the warthogs. We got a few new things that I think are quite interesting. I won't add a sprinkler since obviously we got a pool of water there. However, since they are a type of pig and pigs like mud, I am going to see if I can put a mud bath anywhere. Yeah, there we go. I was going to put down a little rubbing pillar. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to get a few ideas for like a capybara like enclosure. Oh wait, I didn't even realise. I left, I left my game on pause and we got the baby warthog now. Oh, that's so cute. Right, yeah, anyway, so, I am going to try and figure out a way to start making, like, the capybara enclosure, so, I'm going to probably try and think of a shape for it first, and then I'll get back to you after that, so yeah. We just had another baby warthog, this one's called, yeah, I'll check that in the video recording too, it's called Bolognite, this one's another female warthog. Still seems happy, so that's good. So this is the enclosure shape that I have planned for the capybaras. They got a nice amount of space. Uh, if I check, they have more than enough space for a little group of them. And um, yeah, I just got to finish the interior the design, and then once I've thought of one, I'll start building it and get some capybaras put in there. The next day. Okay, so. We just had the inspector arrive at our zoo. So this is going to be interesting to watch. I 
don't know why my camera's moving so fucking slowly, but it's very annoying. Anyways, I've started to think of an idea for the capybara habitat. Um, so, I'll put an image up on the screen, but it's based on, uh, Wildlife HQ in Australia. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll put an image up on the screen like I said. And yeah, once the inspection is finished, I'm going to start making it. So, yeah. Okay, and the inspector has just finished with our zoo. She's happy with the animals and stuff. Education is shit, but it's the start of the game. Plus, it's education, so, yeah. Alright, so, I'm going to get started on the capybara habitat now, and, uh, I'll probably do some clips of me building it, so yeah, let's make a start on it. Alright, so, first thing I wanted to do with the capybara enclosure was design the water area. So, what I've got so far, is obviously I've got this little pool of water at the bottom. At the top here I've got, like, basically a couple, like, just splash effects. And down here I've got a water pool effect, like, I was thinking of making, like, the image I was using for inspiration showed, like, a little waterfall. So I wanted to do something similar to that, and probably added a couple other pools of water around if I have space. I might be able to put one there if I'm lucky. I'm not too sure though. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna finish this waterfall, and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, so I have a design for the waterfall. I also added in another little pond here. And I've started to make a start on the barriers. I'm still not sure what I want to do for the moment. At the moment, I'm just trying to solidify the outline. Um, so I'll get done with that, and once I think of a design for the actual wall, then I'll get back to you. Alright, so as you can see here, I have started work. Well, I've finished working on the outline of the enclosure. So. I still don't have an idea what I want to do yet, so um, I'm gonna look through some more like images of zoos and stuff. Um, maybe like watch some YouTube videos of other people making custom enclosures, and then I might try and take some ideas from that. So yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so since the capybara is a South American animal, I decided to move to the mechanic to do the South America theme research because I want to try and give it obviously a South American look so yeah it will take quite a long time but when it's all done then yeah we'll just I'll let you know and we'll start building it. Alright so the mechanics just finished um, the first bit of research and that hopefully should be enough to get everything we need to build the enclosure. I mean we do have quite a lot to work with now. So yeah, I'm gonna try and make a start on this and I will let you guys know how it's going. Alright, so I've started a design on this. I'm basically using like the broken walls from the South American temple thing. Um, so the design I've got for this, um, so it's partly based off obviously Wildlife HQ, which uh, I mentioned earlier. And for the walls, um, these are based on the design by Zoofluencer. I will leave a link to his channel in the description. But uh, yeah, this is what we've got so far. So what I've mainly been doing is I've got random rotation on, and then I will just try and align a wall to there every, every once in a while, and then obviously I will just basically put down something random. Yeah, it seems to be coming out quite well. I will get back to you once I'm done with it. Alright, so I've finished the barrier for this. Um, I will put in some more plants and stuff, but first I want to get the campfires moved in just to make sure there's nowhere they can escape from. Um, but, like, yeah, once they've moved in, I'll add in some plants, try and pick up any plants they can escape from. Like, for example, stuff like these. And after that, I'll probably add some donation boxes, education stuff, and I'll leave that here for this video. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, by the way, if you are wondering, I ended up changing my mind on having this be a walkthrough enclosure. Because I, I didn't really think it would 
but even though they're tethered, obviously the water's full here and all that, so yeah. Alright, so now I have my path nice and connected to the zoo. Actually, my actual quickly connect on this bit. Hold on. Alright. Yeah, so now I have my path nice and connected. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get the capybaras actually moved in, see if there's anywhere they can escape from. And if there is, I'll patch it up. Ooh, it's very beautiful. Same as it was, okay. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna patch up any holes they can escape from, and I'll just add some plants and stuff as well. So, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Actually, first thing I should do before I actually put the two capybaras into their enclosure is I should quickly quarantine them just to make sure. So, yeah, I'll just quickly get that done. And, you know what, I might as well put in some plants while I wait. So, continent, we have to go to South America, biome, aquatic, grassland, tropical. There we go, that should be everything we need. And we just some plants only. I'll start getting a few of these in now. Anyways, while I'm putting this in, um, I just got bored, so I just wanted to say, I finished watching Better Call Saul recently. I finished it a bit late, because I started watching Breaking Bad late, and started binging all of it, and I started watching Better Call Saul. So yeah, by the time I finished Better Call Saul, about two episodes away from the party. Anyways, yeah, got it finished a few days ago, I've got to say. Second best TV show of all time, just behind Breaking Bad. I would really recommend watching it if any of you are interested in like, TV shows. Like that. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna continue doing this. And you know what? Alright, that should be enough. Are these guys ready to leave for it? They are. So what we are going to do now is we are going to move them into their new enclosure. So let's get that done with. They are going to need a bit more, so I will add a bit more. Also need some soil in their enclosure, since they don't have enough of that. So I'll give them some light soil. Hopefully, should make them happy. Apparently, they can have any amount of long grass. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so that's that done. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to put some more plants for them. area of the enclosure because they can escape from it. So now uh, we are going to put in some donation boxes just to put them around the popular areas. Such as here. And then again I don't know why it's making me move the camera so fucking slowly. Anyways I'll put another one there. And you know, I will put one up here, if I can find this place, uh, like a little place to put one. Yeah, we go. I'll put one there. And while I'm here, uh, I will lower these a little bit. Hang on. There we go, perfect. 
So now they shouldn't be able to escape, but they can get everything they need. Right, so next up is just the education stuff, which is basically just the boards and speakers. So yeah, I'll do that now. Put down some education stuff, giving it power. So there's really only one thing I need to do left, and that is to start research on the capybara, and also give it some enrichment because the warthog actually has similar enrichment to the capybara, and a few of it they have in common, which is um, the barrel feeder, the sprinkler, and the plant feeders. So if I go into let's say. Yeah, I'll have to change up this enclosure. Anyways, I will give them some sprinklers. And I will also give them a barrel feeder or two. So if I quickly just remove the water and I push it down a bit more. series so I'm gonna say th three likes for the next video since we barely hit the like goal on the last one and uh, what else was I gonna say oh yeah uh, join my discord uh, follow my twitter and my instagram I'll leave a link to those in the description and yeah thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next one goodbye